What's going on guys? So today we're coming with a uh, brand new video of Darwin Project. So I always hear, you know, people say, no, this is the best build, this is meta, whatever. Um, and I personally don't believe in that. I, I really don't. Because you shouldn't... I mean, you should try everything in the game, but you shouldn't Electrum. confide in a certain build just because you think it's best or just because people think it's meta. Um, you should play with what you're comfortable with. What you like playing with the most because one person might have a different playstyle than you, uh, than you do. And that's where, you know, things can become a little tricky. Alright, what works for me might not work for Winston. What works for Winston might not work for Jatobo. What works for Jatobo might not work for the rest of you, if you catch my drift. Um, so just just play the game, get a feel of different items, different builds, see which one you like the most, and uh, stick with that. You know what I mean. That being said, there are some key. Uh, we're going to stop that one. There we go. There are some key, uh, items that you should try out whenever you're, you know, first start playing this game. One, tracking arrows. Very useful. Two, power leap. Very, very, very good for <laughs> disengaging and re-engaging. Three, I would say speed boots. Arrow kill. Speed boots are very crucial because, well, they're speed boots. Where did this dude go? Hey guys. I actually don't know. Who am I? Who are you? I'm named Health Bob. You don't know who you are, then get the fuck out of my house. Apparently I have to leave my house now because my, my girlfriend told me if I don't know who I am, I have to leave, so... I guess I'm just going to sit here and die, so... Have a good game, okay. guys. Weird. Very weird. Um, but yeah, as I was saying... Uh, three key items. Tracking arrows, speed boots, and power leap. When you're first starting out, that is. You know, if you don't like it, go ahead and change a certain item, see how you like that, and so on and so forth. It, it, it's all trial and error, basically, what I'm trying to get at. Um, and yeah, guys, the, there's no such thing as, as meta. I don't think so. Um, just have fun with the game. You know, get the experience. There are some key few things, few key things that you should do, however, to actually improve on the game. And not a lot of people talk about this because they don't want to give up their strategies. Personally, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I will tell you anything you want to know. Right, I've put in, how many hours have I put in? 490, basically 500 hours. Okay. Anything and everything you want to know about the game, if you have questions with, I will let you know. I will, I will tell you. I, I don't give a shit. Um, one of the most important things you can do in the game is, well, clearly people are going to tell you, don't jump. Obviously. Don't jump. Um... What you should do, they tell you don't jump, but they don't tell you what to do, right? 
They'll tell you what you shouldn't do, but they, they don't tell you what you should do when you're in a fight. And I think that's kind of funny. Uh, because they only give you half of the key to succeeding. Nah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you straight away. What you should do is be unpredictable. Right? Be, be un unpredictable. You know what I mean? Don't let your opponent know what you're going to do. Uh, and there's also... If you've ever played RuneScape. There is this thing called PID. Right? Not a, people, not a lot of people would tell you this. But if you know what RuneScape is. And you know what PID is. PID is very real in this game. What I mean by that is... If the person has you locked on on their crosshairs, if they're already in like this, and they shoot, and they miss, you have PID. You have the ability to draw back your bow faster than your opponent, because they've already drawn it. Let me tell you that one more time. If they shoot and miss, you have PID. You have the ability to shoot faster than your opponent. That is very, very, very crucial. Right? Um, and that's something you should take advantage of. Knowing that you have PID uh, if they miss and shoot. Now, if you miss and shoot, clearly it's the other way around. So if that happens, do not draw back your bow at the same time and not move around that is a mistake that is a mistake because more than likely he'll shoot first and he'll hit you right unless you have like godly aim and you can hit back um even then you still shouldn't do it just because of the fact that you know you want to have as much health as possible um what else can i tell you what else can I tell you? A new kind of oh. Is Going for first blood will forever benefit you the most out of any single thing you do in the game. What I mean by this is everybody is completely equal in the beginning of the game. Therefore, Nobody's going to have maxed out axe. Nobody's going to have maxed out boots. Nobody's going to have maxed out. Oh fuck, they just Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Right? Everybody is created equal um in the beginning of the game. So therefore, if you force somebody's hand, it is pure pure talent at that point, right? Because they don't have an advantage uh over you. Which is really, really, really good. And that's one of the best ways to actually gain experience. But yeah, to, to recap, just, you know, make sure you you build what you like, okay? Forget about the meta. Build what you like. Everybody is completely different. Uh, make sure you are aware of PID, right? If somebody is drawing that bow at you and they miss, you have PID. If you miss, they have PID. That's very, very, very crucial. Strafing. Being unpredictable. Very, very important. I cannot stress that one enough. Um, yeah, you know, just little, little things that can better improve your your gameplay really aside from that just learn the game learn the game behind you Oh, you She's fucking little shit. Break. Well, I mean, hey, you shot before you said it anyway. 
Yeah, but it's still the fucking principle. Come on, dude. I mean, true. I agree. What a fucking shit director. Okay. Uh, Good fight, dude. You get to live another day. What a shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be negative, man, but. That's one of the things I really hate about this game is directors are either really, really nice or just big assholes. Who in God's name would say, hey, behind you, right? What a fucking... Whatever. What? Whatever, man. I'm over it. We talked a lot about Darwin Project. Um, if you liked this informational video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.